Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'll be unboxing the Gigabyte 3080 graphics card. This is the gaming OC10G graphics card. It's got RGB Fusion 2 lighting, wind force cooling, OC edition, it's got 4 years of warranty. Let's go over to the side here. This is an LHR graphics card. It's got DirectX 12 support. So in the back of the box we have some additional information regarding the graphics card. So here we have Infos 3x cooling system. It's got RGB Fusion 2 lighting, you can change the colors there. It's got a little cutout in the back to provide additional cooling. And there is a protective metal back plate. Alright, so now let's go ahead and open this. Alright, so this you have this nice gigabyte branding. So let's have a look at what we have here. So here we have four years of warranty if you register. And here we have a quick guide. So here we have some details about how to install the graphics card and the display outputs that it has. I'm going to go ahead and cut open the seal. Alright, so let's have a closer look at the GPU. So here we have three fans. So here at the top you have this giant heatsink and two 8-pin power inputs. In the back you have this protective backplate. And here is a cutout to provide good airflow and improve the cooling. And at the bottom here you have a view of this large heatsink and the heat transfer pipes. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this PCIe cover. Alright, so here we have five display out ports. This one is display, HDMI, second HDMI, second display port, and the third display port. Alright, so next I'm going to install this GPU into my motherboard. I'm going to open the GPU lock. This CPU power cable is interfering with my install, so I'm going to send the GPU under it. And I'm going to slowly install the GPU. Alright, now that the GPU is installed, I'm going to secure it to the case by installing the screws. Alright, so next is to install the 8-pin power cables. It requires two of them. Alright, so next is to turn on the computer. And the GPU turns on and the RGB lighting is on. And here is a close-up view of the RGB lighting. So I installed the latest graphics drivers and I'm going to turn on the Gigabyte overclocking tool. And all the settings here are at its default values. And now I'm going to run the 3D tests. Alright, so all the tests have been run and this graphics card has scored 26,595 points and an average 3080 graphics card scores 24,463 points so this graphics card has done better than the average 3080. And this comes to the end of the video, I hope you found this useful, thanks for watching.